Now, once you have all your data inside the MongoDB database, using this data, we can log in using this login form. We just need to specify the email and the password. Once you specify that, you can click on the login button and log in inside your website. So you can then successfully authorize for the application. So to make the login page, I'm going to back to the login right inside these pages. I'm going to open the login.js, close this sign up and this register. As you know, when you click on the on submit, it's going to console.log the email and the password value. What I want when I click on this on submit button with values, I want to call this sign up method. And as you know, using this method, you can authorize the user. Right now, this method is used for Google and for GitHub. Let's do the same thing for our own credential. So let's create a credential provider inside this next auth file. So at the top, you need to first import credential provider from next auth provider. Or you can just grab this credential provider and import that as a default import. So you have to specify here forward slash and then specify here credential. Both statements are identical. Once you have your credential provider, you can then specify this credential provider to this provider property. So just out of this GitHub provider right down here, I'm going to specify this credential provider. And inside this parenthesis, I'm going to specify different options inside this object. So what we have to do is we need to specify here name, the name of the credential provider, which is credentials. Then we call here a function. So let me just call here first a sync function. So I'm going to see here a sync authorize function. Now this is the callback function and this function is going to execute once the user is to be authorized. So when the user successfully authorized, this function is going to store the user token inside the cookies. Now to this function, you have two parameters. First is credentials and second is request. Using these credentials, you can access your username and password. Just for that, let me first check the MongoDB connection. So at the top, I'm going to import the connect mongo from database from the connection file. And right down here, I'm going to check if we have the valid connection, then move on or otherwise return error message. So I'm going to say here error and here I'm going to call error connection failed, something like this. So if there is an error, I'm going to return this message. Now just for that, when the user specify their email and click on the login button, we need to find that user first and then check their password. So I'm going to say here, check user existence. So I'm simply going to say here, constant result is equal to await. And then I'm going to call here users. Now, as you know, we don't have these users inside this file. So at the top, I'm going to say import users double dot forward slash and then I'm going to specify the model folder and inside that we have this schema and from the schema I'm going to grab these users and specify that here and then I'm going to say here dot find one and as you know to check the user we are using email so inside this object I'm going to specify email specify here colon and then I'm going to specify this credential object now when you specify your username and password to the sign up method it's going to pass all your values to this credential and then you can access your username and password right inside this credential object so right down here i'm going to say credential dot email something like this now this statement is going to find the user and then specify that to this result variable so this means that the user is successfully registered now once the user is successfully registered you have to check their password right down here i'm going to say if the user is not registered then i'm going to call here this error message so i'm going to call here exclamation mark and say here result so if this statement won't return anything. We don't have that user. We don't have that user inside the database. In that, in that case, I'm going to throw a new error. And the error is no user found with the email. Please sign up. That's it. Now, just out of that, once we have the user, we need to check their password. We have the password in the hash format. So we need to just compare that password with your credential password. So instead of converting that password into a readable format, the base script is going to provide us a function called compare. The compare function is just going to compare both the passwords and return true and false value. This is just what we need. So at the top, right up here, I'm going to say import. In the object, I'm going to call here compare from base script JS. Just out of that, right down here, just out of this command, here I'm going to say constant check password 
is equal to await and then call this function compare and then inside this function you need to specify both your password the password you specify with the sign up function and the password you have in the database so inside this parenthesis i'm going to first specify the sign up password so i'm going to call here credential dot password and as a second argument we specify result dot password now the result dot password is going to return the database password and this credential dot password is going to return the sign up password so when we call the sign up we're going to pass the password as well with the sign up method just out of that if this return true then i'm going to return the result otherwise i'm not going to return any result so here i'm going to check the incorrect password so we need to say here if check password so if the check password return false or result dot email if it is not equal to credential dot email then execute this if block and from this if block i'm going to throw a new error so i'm going to say here throw error in the object in the double code i'm going to say username or password doesn't match and if everything is well then i'm going to return this result so i'm going to say here return result this variable that's it now the authorization is successfully created now what you have to do is you have to call sign up inside your login so back to the login.js and instead of this console.log here you're going to say await sign in this function and then you specify the name which is credentials and then i'm going to specify here comma and pass some properties so we need to first say here redirect which is going to be false and then i'm going to specify my email as you know inside these values we have the email so i'm going to say here values dot email then i'm going to specify the password and we have this password inside values dot password right here and at the end we need to specify the callback url so i'm going to retire the user to the home page something like this just out of that this function is going to return the status of the transaction so what we are going to do is we're going to get that transaction inside a variable i'm going to say here constant status is equal to and then write down here i'm going to say console.log and print that status let me save this file at the top let me copy my username and password so let me copy this email and this password now let me copy this back to the project reload it click on the inspect and open the console now let me specify the email and this password when i click on the login button i'm going to get this console message inside this console i'm not going to get any error ok is going to be true the status is 200 and then we get this callback url which is the home page so now using this callback url we can redirect the user to the home page so let me just do that so using the status instead of this console.log here i can say if the status dot ok if it is written true then i'm going to redirect the user to the home page to redirect the user i'm using the use route so right down here i'm going to say import use router from next router let me just remove this unwanted import statement right from here just out of that let me copy this use router and after this here i'm going to say constant router is equal to use router i'm going to initialize this variable just out of that i'm going to copy this variable router and if this return true then i'm going to say here router dot push and i'm going to push this application to the status dot url so i'm going to pass here status dot url something like this back to the project reload it and now let me specify my email and my password now when i click on the login button you can see now i'm going to redirect to the authorized page and here i have my email and now if i click on this sign out button it's going to sign out from this application it's going to remove all the tokens from the cookies so this is how you can simply create the credential in this application